Hi. Um, I have a quick question on um, PCC. When I'm applying for a PCC for Canada PR, what precautions do I have to take? Okay, this is also a question of any of my subscribers, so I would like to answer this in detail. Police clearance certificate is one of the major evidences in the Canada PR application. So you need to make sure that the dates in the PCC that you mentioned should match the dates in your address history. So there should not be a difference even with one day. So even if there is a difference with one day, your Canada PR application will get rejected because the police clearance certificate is a major component of your evidence. There cannot be any discrepancy in this evidence, nor there should be any gap that is left in the address history. So the address history usually mentions the month and the year. So that month, year and the date should match with the dates that is mentioned in the police clearance certificate. So this is one thing. And also, for example, if you have lived in a country for more than six months, then only a police clearance certificate will be required and uh, I would uh, recommend uh, my subscribers to apply for a police clearance certificate as soon as you have put in the Canada PR application if you have a good uh, CRS score because as soon as you get the invitation to apply then you would have to submit the evidence within one month or two months and there are many countries in the world uh, that require a lot of fight yeah, okay. from the applicants to get the police clearance certificate and we do not usually have that much amount of your PCC application is in progress and uh, the deadline is getting over, you can uh, definitely raise a web form and ask for additional time or extension of the deadline, the IRCC, but I would recommend that as soon as you put in the application, you can start applying for the police clearance certificate and it takes a while before it is issued to you. Now, to give an example, one of my friends has applied for a Canada PR under refugee status. He is currently in Canada, but he had lived in a country called Qatar for about seven months. So he is required to submit a PCC. Now they have asked him to submit a PCC document within one month, but he was not able to submit or get the PCC document in one month. So the deadline has passed. Before the deadline was passed, he contacted me and I asked him to raise a web form asking for an additional time and they have allotted him 30 days of extension. But still you can see the PCC has not been obtained by him because he is in Canada and the police office that grants you the PCC is in Qatar. So he is not able to reach them. He tried to contact the Qatar embassy and their process that they mentioned is very long time taking process so I would recommend everyone please as soon as you submit your application start the process of the PCC so the thing with the PCC is assume you visited a country and stayed there for more than six months and after that you have never visited the country nor would you visit that country in future so if you get a PCC document from there it gets expired after six months but still in the seventh month you can still use that document because even though the PCC is expired the PCC covers the date in the past and you are not going to visit that country again so that PCC is valid so these are the tips and please contact me for any further questions thank you so much